again. Episode five. That many episodes. That many. But yeah, it's episode five of Travel Talk with me. Uh, today we'll be covering lots of bus journeys, uh, our first trip into North Carolina, and yeah, you know, just some general stuff. It's all good. Uh, last episode we were just in Washington and leaving the next day to actually travel to North Carolina. Uh, so yeah, we woke up in Washington the uh, third day and the bus we were getting was about, oh, I think 11 o'clock. So yeah, we got ourselves ready, had a little bit of breakfast. Uh, I think our breakfast consisted of a donut and a coffee from 7-Eleven, but you know, these things are good. When in America, you do these things. Uh, so yeah, we went to the bus station, uh, got on the bus at about 11, like I say. Uh, had some fascinating times on that bus. For example, one very elderly gentleman decided that in the toilet you're not allowed to smoke in. He went and had a cigarette. So the bus driver pulled over and had a very stern go at him. And when I say stern go at him, I mean he swore at him a lot. <laughs> but uh, it's all fun, you know. So yeah, we were on the bus for about four hours, I think, between Washington. And to basically to get from Washington to North Carolina, uh, you have a four hour bus journey to Virginia, Richmond in Virginia. And then you get the bus from Richmond, Virginia, on to um, Raleigh in North Carolina, and then Raleigh to Wilmington, which is fun. You know, obviously it breaks up the journey a little bit, but at the same time, it'd be nice if it was a direct bus. But, you know, can't complain. There's always There was always going to be some days where we just travelled by bus a lot of the time, so I can't complain. You always, you've got to travel somehow, so, yeah, it was always going to be a problem. But yeah, we uh, we were on the bus between Washington and Virginia for about four hours. Apart from the man smoking in the toilet, it wasn't anything very interesting. We um, got to Virginia about, I think it's about five o'clock, five, four or five o'clock. Um, had about a 15 minute stop, got on the next bus, which was Virginia to Raleigh in North Carolina. So, you know, we didn't really have time to do anything while we were in the bus station there. I think we just sat down and waited for the next bus. Then we got on to the next bus, heading to Rayleigh, which took about three hours, which meant we got to Rayleigh about eight o'clock in the evening. So there wasn't much time to do anything apart from getting a taxi and go to the motel that we were staying in overnight, because we were only staying in Rayleigh for one night, because again, it was a stopgap between Rayleigh and Wilmington. A uh, funny story about Rayleigh, we got a taxi from the bus station to the motel. Uh, the taxi driver dropped us off, we paid him. Just as he was about to drive off, he realised, well, I realised he hadn't opened the boot to get our bags out. He was about to drive off, so I had to keep banging on the back of his taxi until he eventually realised, about 20 foot away from where he dropped us off, that I was banging on his taxi to get our bags out. So that was fun. Uh, eventually got our bags off the crazy taxi driver and made our way to our room. Uh, I think we just had dinner and basically went to bed in all honesty because... Again, it was 8 o'clock, we had a bus the next day, it was no point in really doing anything. Woke up the next morning, uh, headed down to get some breakfast in the motel, which was free, good old motel breakfast. Uh, we had breakfast, went back up, packed our bags again, made our way back to the bus station, managed to actually get our bags off of a taxi driver without him driving off this time, so that was fun. And yeah, we just waited for the bus, waited probably about an hour and a half for the bus, which would take us between... Richmond, Richmond, it wouldn't take us between Richmond, it would take us between Rayleigh and Wilmington. And it was about a five hour bus ride. So I think we left about half twelve in the end because there was a problem with the bus initially. And we got to Wilkmington? Wilmington. Wilmington at about six o'clock. Uh, again, because we'd obviously been on the bus most of the day, we didn't really have the energy to do much. And again, with Wilmington, where we were staying, it was more petrol stations, uh, car rental places, motels, and restaurants of fast food. <laughs> McDonald's was at like every 20 foot. It was very strange. But yeah, so we just decided we had some dinner and I think we just went to bed again. Um, because obviously those two days weren't that exciting because they were all on bus rides and taxi drivers that nearly stole my bag and such. So yeah, it, it, it wasn't the most exciting time, but like I say, you've got to do it every once in a while to get yourself from A to B, so we can't complain. Next day, though, was very exciting. We hired a car. Now, obviously, I can't drive, 
So that made obviously getting a car a little bit difficult, but the person I was traveling with can drive. So it was handy that she could because it meant we could get a car and have a little bit more freedom than having to get buses and such all the time. So the rent a car place luckily was at the end of our road where the motel was. So we walked down there, I hired a car, it's a little blue Nissan, nicknamed the Blue Beast. Yep, that really happened. And uh, yeah, we got this car about 10 o'clock. She did a couple of laps around the car park just to get a feel for it because obviously it's on the opposite side of the car, the steering wheel and such, and you're driving on the opposite side. So yeah, she got a feel for it. As soon as she was comfortable, we um, drove into the centre of Wilmington, which was probably about 10 minutes away. And uh, yeah, it was, it was quite nice. Wilmington's a nice little town. It's very much, the buildings are very much of the 19th century. They're very old, well kept. Um, there's a lot of history in the town. So it's a nice place to walk around and just, you know, look at places. Uh, so they've got a train museum. Uh, so they've got, they got the Cape Fear River. Um, we saw the USS Carolina, which was docked there. That was quite cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a nice place. There's a nice little lot of little restaurants as well, you know, places that cook homemade food. And they're very welcoming. So, yeah, we were there for probably about three or four hours, just, you know, wandering around, being tourists. And um, once we'd finished in there, we still had a couple of hours to kill during the day. So we decided that we'd drive about 30 miles to Carolina Beach, um, which it was nice. You know, unfortunately, the weather changed. It was very grey and overcast and a little bit miserable. But it was our first experience of a beach in America. So we were still quite excited about it. I think importantly as well, it gave her more driving experience in the new car, which would come in handy because we planned to do more driving in the days to come such as going to Myrtle Beach and Charlotte and, you know, places in South Carolina that maybe would pop up that we fancied having a look at. So, yeah, it was it was nice that she got the hang of the car pretty quickly. But, yeah, we uh, that was basically that day. And that, that was basically three days. I mean, two of it, obviously, was travelling by bus. Uh, the third day was really exciting because, obviously, getting a car it gives you a lot more freedom to explore the country. And just, you know, you're not chained down to a bus seat or a taxi seat or a train seat. You, you can actually... So yeah, having the car gave us a lot more freedom. It meant that we weren't chained down to a bus or a train or something like that, you know, where you can't actually stop. We were able to stop off where we wanted, see what we wanted, do what we wanted. And uh, yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, but that was only the first day of having the car. Uh, there's a plenty more to come, but I think I'll leave that episode here. It's been a shorter episode, but on the, that hand, we've done three days. A lot of it's been by a bus, but you know. Next episode will be more exciting, I promise. Uh, we went to a mall. Let's go to the mall. Okay. Uh, Myrtle Beach. Uh, did a lot more driving, obviously, between the, all of those. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot more exciting episode to come. Uh, so, hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. And until then, have fun.